Hello and welcome to Infinity. This is a quick look at how you select brushes. Um, if you start off with a paintbrush here, then you can paint with that brush and you can change the colours and you can change some of the attributes out here. But it's nice to be able to just immediately pick something with completely different attributes. So let's have a bit of fun and see what we can do with the brushes. So up here we've got the tab for brushes and we'll go to history and turn this previous one off. What we see here we've got a drop down here in which we can select all kinds of groups with containing brushes. So there are loads and loads of brushes. In the basic one you've got ones of different size, then you've got ones which are I've got a soft edge so if I make that large you can see it. See so you've got that soft edge because what this has done is this has brought the hardness down so that the edges is softer. So that's the basic brushes. Let's go to the next one, have a look. Painting. What can we do with painting? Let's look down here a bit. What have we got? Okay, let's grab that one. Another thing to notice on here, if I make it bigger, you can see in here, this is now no longer a solid blob. You can have any pattern within this and paint that pattern. So I can click on this and see I could got individual pieces like this. And we can have an effect with this. And a way, way of working with this is, for this sort of thing, is you can produce sort of rough things, is if I alt click with a brush, here's another tip for brushes, alt click, and it acts like you picking up, like the color picker tool, and I picked up that color in here. And so there I can then with my brush paint and these are things here. Maybe I can turn the opacity down a bit on that and add more of that seaweed to the edge and do some overlays and you can you'll, you'll hardly notice the difference. What else can we do? Um let's go to brushes, painting, drawing. Let's use the first one of those and we'll go to the colours and we'll just turn the blue and the red down and bring green down so it's a fairly dark green. And we'll make this brush bigger so you can see what this is. Now I'm just going to paint around the edge. There I've got a border but it looks like I'm looking through a window and there's ivy around it. So there you go, that's another way of doing it, it's rather having a hard border, interesting textured border. Um, and another brush. Let's set this back to black. Spray paints. Let's go to spray 7 there. And what I'm going to do now is put in a new window. So add a pixel layer, so a new, sorry, new layer there. And if I increase the size of this. I'm now painting on that layer which means I can blend this in. So you can see it's like an ink splat. And each time I tip it, I click, I get a different thing. So I can splatter over this. And that looks a bit yucky of course, but if I now go to blend modes and go to overlay, look I'm having a very really interesting effect here. And it almost like, looks like an, uh, maybe a painting that's had water spilt on it. There we go, that's some more fun. And what else? Texture. Let's go to what have we got down here? Let's pick grunge four. That's that. And I know what this is gonna do. I'm gonna But if I make this bigger, what can I see here? I've got a crack. Yeah, this is a big crack here and I can literally click on that and maybe up here. So I've now got an earthquake happened to my picture or maybe it's an old picture effect. There you go. And let's do one more because this is fun. Just the different things we can do. We'll go down to the next one. Effects. And we'll just pick the top one here. Now I'll put an extra layer in and do it here to so change the 
blend mode to soft light because the effect it has. Now I can paint a texture on a, something like a wall here and see I've changed how that wall looks. So you can even paint it elsewhere. And because you're painting texture on things, it looks more natural. OK, there we go. That's just a sample of some of the brushes and some of the things that you can do with them and how to select them from over here. So thank you very much for watching.